everyone, it's Abby and Liz with uh, week number nine of Budget Buddies. Uh, so this week is going to be really uh, interesting because this covers November 24th through the 30th, which was Black Friday and Thanksgiving. So I will go ahead and let Liz start because mine's going to take a little while. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um... Let's see. So we have fallen off the bandwagon a little bit with our cash budget. Um, what a common pitfall for us that we've ran into like in years past when we've tried the cash budget is like, I forget to go to the bank on Saturday morning. And so we don't have cash for the week. So we put it on a card and then like, I'm trying to keep track in my head how much is left in every category. And it doesn't make sense to go to the bank and get like, you know, $7 out and things like that. But then we end up overspending because we don't actually have the, you know, envelopes. Um, so that's what we fell into a little bit. Um, so I'm really committed to like setting that back up again and maybe getting like two weeks out at a time, like basing it more on paycheck instead of like by the week. So I'm going to get back on track with that. Um, so for the week that we're talking about on um, the week of Thanksgiving and Black Friday, um, out of our, you know, me and Adam's combined like $70 fun money kind of budget, which we take eating out out of that. Um, we spent 65, so we had $5 left there. Um, the reason that was so good is because we had family in town and we were eating at my parents' house a lot. Um, and then, or like if the whole family would go out and like somebody else would pay for our food or something. So um, that's how we did so well there. Um, for our other budget, um, that encompasses like trips to Target and everything. Um, it doesn't have my Black Friday shopping in it because that I took out of my Christmas budget. Um, so, but we did, I mean, I think we made like three substantial trips to Target that week. Um, so it still has some of those. So we spent $155 and our budget is supposed to be $25. So we were over $130 there. Um, and then for groceries, we were over by $30. It just happened to be a week where we needed a lot of things. So it um, just added up. Um, our budget for groceries is 50. So we um, spent 80. Sorry, my screensaver came on, but I'm still here. Okay. Um, so we were, $30 over on groceries. Um, so that brings us to a total of being $155 over for the week. Um, and one, uh, oh, and then our total Christmas budget is $300. And I've done all my Christmas shopping. Um, and so we've spent all of that, but we haven't gone over. And then our dryer kind of finally broke down. And so me and Adam, instead of getting Christmas presents for each other, um, we were gonna spend like $50 each on each other. We put that $100 towards a new dryer. So our dryer, we got the cheapest one at Sears and it was like 288 on Black Friday weekend. Um, so we put that $100 towards it. And then that just left 188 that we took out of like a paycheck that Adam had gotten for some freelance work. Um, so that's all taken care of and everything. Um, and that's how we did. So I feel pretty good. The only big purchase that, well, yeah, the only big purchase that we made was that dryer. I did fall victim to targets, um, spend $75 in the wonder shop and get $25 off. I had like maybe $20 worth of Christmas items. And I was like, oh, if I spend $55 more, then it's like I'm getting $25 of it free. So might as well look around and do like a, whatever that like supermarket, what's that game show? Like the supermarket su sweep. Yeah. So we yeah. did like a supermarket sweep of the wonder shop. Um, and spent $50 there with $25 worth of free stuff. But our tree looks really nice. And we got Christmas lights on the outside of the house. So. Anyway, how was your week, Abby? I think I hear it's maybe like a come to Jesus time for you. It's, it was good and bad. <clears throat> so super good was our grocery budget for the week is $90. We spent $26.28. There you go. Nice. So we had $68 left over. Um, 
I have a personal budget and Bo has a budget a week of $40. I spent $101 and Bo spent none. Like he didn't take any for that. He still had money left over. Um, that all went to, I can't even remember. Like I have it written down, but I don't want to waste time, but it was, it was, um, like, so out of my personal money, that counts if I go out to eat. Anything I buy, like, personal, like, wise. Um, so, yeah, that's our mm -hmm. – and, and – no, I can't remember what else. Um, and then, so, the hard part, the bad part came in with um, Black Friday, which this is both good and bad. Um I had some extra money that uh, we used towards Christmas shopping, and we got, like, 99% of our Christmas shopping done. Uh, we budgeted $600 for Christmas to spend on everyone, and just the Black Friday weekend, we spent $790.16, and that is, like, a lot of people, and we did... Um, select three different people from different giving trees around the community. So we added in three additional people to give to, but again, it's because I kind of came into a little bit of extra money. So we wanted to give back. Um, so like, so you feel good, even though were you like $290 over, but like that was a choice and you feel good about that. It was $190. Over. Okay. Um, but I'm okay with it because we still, we have the money um, like that was the money that we should have used towards credit card debt to just like become credit card debt free. But that's the money that we ended up using to buy Christmas presents for people. Mm -hmm. Um, on top of that, we bought a new TV for our house because our living room TV blew up. And I think I commented on that in our last budget. But <laughs> we got a really good deal on that. And then I got a new Christmas tree with the wonder shop deal. That wonder but, shop. I know, but I used, um, I was sharing on our Instagram that I had saved up Ibotta money and I had gift cards that I had been saving and I got a referral gift card. So with um, the sale, I ended up getting a $220 tree for $62. Nice. was my out of pocket. So um, between the TV and that, it was $512. So the TV must have been pretty cheap. See, I'm not going to be a very good budget buddy here because I'm like, wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> it was a 50-inch TV, Samsung. Whoa, yeah. I, it was a 50-inch TV for, from Samsung. It was at Target, and I used, um, like, Cartwheel, and they had, like, another Black Friday thing. So we ended up getting it for just 400 I think it was, like, 415 418 mm -hmm. and it was originally, like, a $900 TV. And then, yeah, the tree. So even though I spent a lot, like, we knew we were going to. It's not like we went into it using credit cards and, like, just totally lost our, you know, like, will. Mm -hmm. But it just still hurts, especially when we've been doing so well. Um, so, yeah, we did spend a lot, but we were able to spend it. It's just we chose to spend it towards, I guess, frivolous purchases they were definitely wants and not needs even though you know we could say we needed these things we really didn't so that's why it hurts a little bit <laughs> yeah but did you put any of it on a credit card no none of it okay that and that's what's exciting so in, in years past we've usually like the last little bits of credit we had like $50 on this card or $15 on that card we would use it and um, we typically go negative, which we did not. Uh, we still have money left in our account and had money left. We paid all of our bills. It's not like we, you know, uh, in any way sacrificed, like, our personal mm -hmm. uh, money for that. So. Okay. I mean, and you, like, you did go in with a plan because you told me, like, okay, we're, like, we're going to use this awesome deal or time of year to get a TV and you know so I feel like sometimes we change our priorities as far as like our spending plans but 
that's a huge step that like you, it wasn't on a credit card. It wasn't an impulse. Like you planned on it and yeah. you researched and you got a good deal. Um, so I think like if you, if you had gone out to target with like no money in your budget for it and came home with like 1200. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, if you had all of it together, like $1,200, oh, you know? So yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. But and it's like, but now I kind of feel like we don't have the permission to spend it because we're still not in like a good place. It's like we should have used it for other things, but like it's Christmas and I love giving people gifts and I love doing that. And, mm -hmm. and it's like the TV and like you said, but I still have that guilt about spending it and not saving it or not putting it towards, you know, other stuff. But yeah. Do you think that if you would have like had the willpower to save it and like, See, even with just the Christmas tree, I guess it would have just been $62, but you'd still have all those gift cards and stuff to use on other things. Like, do you think that would have made you happier to, to not get those things? See, I don't know because the, so Friday or Thursday night is when I started shopping and I shopped Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I didn't get the tree until Sunday because I was debating about not getting it. And I actually bought a different tree at Lowe's that was more expensive because I wanted to use those gift cards on other things. And then I ended up taking it back because it was like $85. And when I got it home, like the lights already didn't work. Mm -hmm. I like I should not buy this cheap tree because it won't last. So I took it back. And that's when I did the math on, you know, the target deals. And I was like, well, for $64, that's really cheap. And I know that this tree will last. Um, but no, and that's the thing. We didn't have any buyer's, like, remorse on any of it. Usually what we do, like, on previous Black Fridays, we'll go out and we'll shop. And then we'll, like, take everything back by the time Sunday or Monday gets around. Yeah. Like, well, we really shouldn't have bought that. So let's take that back. Or, mm -hmm. you know, did we really need that? So everything we, we got truly, I don't think I bought a single, other than the Christmas tree, I don't think I bought a single thing like for myself other than like a cup of coffee every day mm -hmm. but I think I bought like oh that's not true I did buy one shirt for work so I bought one shirt for work in the Christmas tree and then everything else was gifts Bo got mm -hmm. a pair of jeans when we went on one day yeah so yeah it was all just stuff we were kind of giving which makes me feel good mm -hmm. but then in the same sense when you lump it all together like $20 for this person $20 for that person mm -hmm. it really adds up <laughs> When you have a big family. Yeah. So then for December, like since you're basically done with Christmas shopping, like for December, can you like, are there things you can do with your budget to like get that last credit card paid off or like, um, like how are you looking for December? Yeah. My goal for December is we're going to pay off. So I have $430 on one card and I have $200 on another card. And, um, I get three paychecks in December. Woo! Yeah. So the last paycheck won't have taxes or health insurance out of it. Mm. So we're going to use that to pay off. So we actually go into the new year, like on the very last day, we'll go into the new year without credit card debt. Yay! That's amazing. Knock on wood. Yeah. Barring no, you know, crazy things. So that's our right. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we'll awesome. Have totally funded by cash. And we'll have no credit card debt. Cool. Do you guys have an emergency fund saved up or is that the next step? Uh, we do now. That was part of the gift that I had received. Okay. Uh, so now we have a fully funded $1,000 emergency fund. Nice. Okay. Well, great. Yeah. And we are, we're in a good position right now too. I think we'll... We won't be going into the new year without any credit card debt, but we'll be going into the new year with our thousand dollar emergency savings. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you have that now or you will have it. Um, I will have it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll have it soon. I think I might even already, ha um, we just deposited like several paychecks from Adam. He's a freelancer. So, um, okay. you know that I'm telling the audience, Yeah, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so like he got paid for like three or four different projects. So now I just need to like make sure I know what money is going where and everything like that. But um, 
and we're going to like pay off our tax bill. And, um, with my new job, we have to pay for Cobra, which is like out super expensive. Um, so we're going to get like all those huge ticket items paid off and have like our, um, emergency savings, um, for the first time ever and, and That's everything awesome. like that. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, in the past, we've gotten paydays like this in the past because sometimes he'll, you know, he wraps up a bunch of projects at once and we come into a lot of money. But like, that's when we'd decide, like, I know, like, we've been thinking about putting a fence up in our backyard. Let's buy a fence. And like, you know, we have all these other things that like, finally, we have all this money that we can do that. And we didn't have a plan for it. Whereas now, like, we've got a plan for where all that money's going to go. And it's all like doing something responsible. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Um, so my goal, like this week or for the rest of December is I need to like actually go to the bank, get out my cash for my cash budget and stick to that. Um, and like Christmas shopping is done for us. And so I like it needs to be done and not deciding, like, well, if I spend you know, I found this for my niece and that was $5. So now I need to spend $5 on all my other nieces and nephews, you know, just like be done and everything, you know. Yay. All right. Well, um, that wasn't, a, that wasn't as bad as it could have been for Black Friday. So were you thinking it was going to be worse? Yeah, I thought, cause you told me about the, the TV. You didn't tell me about the Christmas tree, yeah. um, but you told me about the TV before you bought it. So I was expecting like, and then we spent $2,000 on like whatever. So <laughs> I got a real life Barbie car and I spent <laughs> yeah. $1,000. No, I just <laughs> adding it all up. Like I knew a lot had left. I knew we were spending a lot. Um, but it just, it felt so weird because, and I'm sure like, you know, this, like you can relate to this, but like, I've never just dropped $700 shopping in my life. Like, and, and to just like do it on like one weekend and just to like, I don't know. It just, it just felt so weird to do. But it's cause you had saved up, like you'd saved up $600 for Christmas. And then yeah. you like, you know, got some additional money that you weren't expecting mm -hmm. and like, there you go. And it doesn't. Yeah. Like, honestly, in years past, this is going to sound so pathetic. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to sound so pathetic, but, like, I mean, it's it's a very real, like, thing for us to strategize. So my birthday is December 2nd, and Bo's birthday is November 16th. So, like, we would get birthday money and then spend it on Christmas presents, and then, like, we would plan out, like, so we have, I think, like, seven Christmases we go to. So oh, my we gosh. I know we have a really big family, but we would strategize. Like if we knew we were getting money gifts at Christmas one, we would use that to get us through Christmas two and Christmas three, Wow, and three money to get us through four and five. Like we just have never had the money to be able to fund Christmas. So to be able to do that in and of itself mm -hmm. is like so cool that like now, cause for December, I do have a few, I think we have three more gifts to purchase, which, you know, like I said, that's compared to everything we've, we've done. That's not very much at all. And then just Christmas baking items. And we're sending out Christmas cards for the first time. Yay. So that was included in the, in the $600 or the 720. It was $60 to get all of our Christmas card stuff. So we're actually getting to do fun Christmas stuff that we've never really done because of the expense of it. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. Well, and um, sorry, the video is going long, but I just wanted to say like, like how in years past you were using like money that was gifted to you to fund Christmas. It's like, that's not what your loved ones intended for those gifts to go towards. Like they give you money and then like you use that to buy a present for Aunt Margie at the next place, you know, like I that's know. not, what, that's not what they intended, but it's like, that's what you have to do. I and know. so now this Christmas, like when somebody gives you a present, like you get to keep that and enjoy it and know that like, you know, Oh, if I sold this, like if I returned this, then I could get whatever for my next Christmas or, you know, know. So, know. yeah. 
I know it's so pathetic, but it was just our reality forever. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, um, so we will see you guys all back next week. Um, and we want to know how you did on your black Friday. If you go shopping, um, and then we want to really encourage you, you know, we're a few weeks out, um, from all the winter holidays. And so this is, um, really big time of year for overspending and you know going out to eat with friends and all that. So like, just remember, like stick to your budget or like, you know, if you know that some big event is coming, plan for that in your budget. Um, and try and start off the new year on a good note. And like with all your, what do you say? All your coffers filled. Is that a thing? I've never heard that. A coffer? coffer? Yeah, I think it's like a cash register. Oh. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Bye.